More than 6,800 babies were born in Will County in 2020, but any of those infants needed intensive care were not treated close by. The sick newborns had to be moved to other hospitals several miles away. That's not the case anymore. Morning Insider Lauren Victory takes us inside Will County's first neonatal intensive care unit. Inside Silver Cross Hospital in New Lenox, you want to go home? Baby Brooke needs extra TLC that she wouldn't have received here if she was born just a few weeks earlier. The hospital's neonatal intensive care unit, or NICU, just opened. When we came here, I'm like, oh, well, thank God we came here. Newborns needing special heat-regulated beds like these were previously transferred to the next closest NICU, likely in Chicago or Peoria. That often meant lots of time in the car for mom and dad. Oh, that would have been I couldn't even not, imagine. Yeah, yeah. couldn't even imagine. <laughs> so this is a picture of the first time I ever got to hold my kids all at once. Michelle Vanna can imagine. Her triplets were born months premature in 1995. They would be on and off of ventilators throughout their stay. I wanted to be able to say, we, we were there for you every day. That meant nine weeks commuting back and forth from her home in Lockport to a NICU in the city, more than two hours round trip. When you have a critically ill child that you barely know because they're so young, every minute is a gift with them because you don't know if you have any more. More than 12,000 babies spent time in Illinois NICUs in 2019, according to state data. Silver Cross had to refer at least 50 tiny sick patients last year. Now we can do surgery that we weren't able to do before. Medical director Dr. Corinne Greenwood explained the new unit is staffed with neonatal experts and equipped for all sorts of care. We can do tests such as EEG, so looking at brain uh, activity, uh, and really keep babies on ventilators longer than we could. I've heard the stories of what their dad and I had to do. Vanna's experience all those years ago still affects her, so she made a big donation to help other NICU babies like Brooke and her parents. That explains the name of the new wing. This is Amy, Jay, and Matthew. Lauren Victory, CBS2 News.